What about the shark? I am a robot. Man. The shark seemed to be trying to stop that triangle at all costs. Oh no! to understand each other yet and now you're gone already oh okay I can totally buy the whole thing about how Maybe the shark was trying to protect the ocean and we were the ones disrupting it. But then, what do those hieroglyphics mean then? Cause I was under the impression that it seemed like, um... We worship the shark. That's what the hieroglyphics seem to tell me. But that might not be the case. Where the heck are we? You can see the triangle on our chest now, really prominently. Those real fish? Trying to pour water. Kind of like the ones that we saw before, huh? Yeah, that's not... that's not what I wanted to do. Oh! The shell! The shell at the top. People at the bottom. Yeah, people getting water from... Wherever they're getting water. What? Why are there trees here? Hold on, we gotta... We gotta look around quickly, because I want to find out what the trees are about. Oh, we can swim. Okay, that makes it easier. Right, here's the same thing. The shells, people pouring water, people bringing grain everywhere, big shell, three small shells, people pouring water. What is happening here? Wow. I never thought we would walk in this game. Frogs? Lugging the water around. Oh, is that a dead fish? Hmm. Hmm. 
Probably the same thing on this side. You know, I thought it was weird that we were, like, above water level. But to see trees, that's just a bit... Not what I was expecting. Yeah, same thing. People holding grain, people holding jugs of water. Shark heads, right? Are those shark heads? All of this is happening beyond that huge gate? Like... Were our kind? Were we trying to build some sort of paradise and then we like... Brought all the fish inside? And tried to separate them from the rest of the ocean? Is that what happened? And obviously the fish wouldn't like that. This looks like some sort of man-made paradise here. What is going on? Hang on, I just see this, but I know it's a huge place, so we'll be trying to go back to all the places. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Well, we don't need a gate if, if we can just swim around it, right? Seems like the water level previously might have been much lower though, because the stairs, the gate that we can just swim past, that's what that would seem to suggest. Can we walk again? The Garden of Life. Oh, we can pull the chain inside now. Dolphins. At least I think they're dolphins. Mm hmm. One side is done. to find the other side. How about some meditation first though? Or how about that? That first. Oh, and I see the other chain already. Helicoprion. Is that really the remains of a fish? Whoa, what was that? What was that? There was like a shark or something. Hmm. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. 
Oh, that's the Helicoprion. Hmm. That's a huge long gate. Hmm. Yeah. This place wasn't water before. But now it's all it's all water. Does that- hey, if it wasn't water before, and now it's all water, does it mean that that's where the people were pouring the water into? They made this place, poured the water from the ocean into here, and gathered all the fish? Wow, I feel like I'm reaching a little bit here. <laughs> a canthode. Which one? This one? Ammonite. Oh, so that's that's really similar to a Nautilus, but not. This one has like ridges on its shell. Huh. You again? You again? Whoa! Gar. Gar is not joking around. Ammonite. We haven't seen Ammonite before here, have we? We saw Nautilus earlier, but not Ammonites. Well... I don't think there was anything back here, but it doesn't hurt to check again. I don't think we can get up to those places, huh? This really is a palace. It's amazing here. Statues holding vases. The same vases we're using to pour water in here, maybe? You can tell this place was originally not water filled because there's pavement here. You don't need pavement if there's water here. Fish around here. I can't wait to see what comes up next. Hey, what was that black one? That one looked real cool. Nope, can you get up to the water? I just want to look at the overworld, if you will. Shark statue. There are birds here. I'm assuming we're not actually above ground, right? Even though there's air here. Like, I think it's actually more that we're so deep underground and this is a huge air pocket. Oh. Archelon. Wow. What about that one? No.
Oh, we've seen you before. Okay. Shells! Again! What a surprise. Oh. Am I just imagining it? Or is the wave pattern kind of like a shell too? Hmm. Well, here goes nothing. Ammonites. What? Can't see. We're at the top of one of the towers. going on here? Um, this seems a little bit... Like, do I really want to go down there? I, I guess so? Okay. Hang tight, okay? Don't leave me. Give me a second. Just one second. Dacosaurus? Saurus? Are you a dinosaur? Those remains that we saw... Like, I'm beginning to think we're seeing some extinct fish here. Huh. Hey, no, where are the big ones? Give me back the big ones. Where were they? Where are they? Oh, come on. What? Ichthyosaurus? Another saurus? Oh, these have huge scary eyes. No, but where were the big ones? Hang on. Huh. I'm really beginning to think we're seeing some extinct things here. If I knew more about fish, I could tell you more definitively. But I don't, so... We'll have to make do with my guesses. I think we're near the end. What's happening here? Hang on though, those those really big dinosaur looking things are gone now. I'm pretty sure they were dinosaur. Cause they didn't really look like fish at all to me. Are there other fish around here except for the the sauruses? How about you guys? Oh, but you're being eaten. Dacosaurus. Ah, oh, I can't believe those big ones just got away and never came back. Never came back? No, they're right there. They're right there. Come on, come on. No, 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 no.
Elasmos Elasmosaur. Okay, you can't tell me that's not extinct. This has to be extinct. What? This one I can't control. It just does its own thing. Like, I can't really- oh, it's very slow. Yes! This will help me. Gar. Another Gar? Geosaurus. Geosaurus. Gar. Okay, I just looked it up. Elasmosaurus is definitely extinct. It's a dinosaur with an extremely long neck that lived in the late Cretaceous period. 80 million years ago. That's not... That's definitely extinct. Gyrotus. Wow. You know, I thought... <sighs> maybe this is why the names were becoming more and more uncommon and more scientific sounding. Cause if they were common everyday fish, we would probably have like a more casual name for it, right? But... These extinct fish, because we don't have much exposure with it. At least the common non-fish researching folk. So they just don't have those names. They just have their scientific names. Oh, hang on. Yeah. So the shells? It might be a Nautilus, but it might be a Ammonite too, huh? We have fish, and then we have one of the... Oh, I forgot your name already. The something Saurus. And then the long neck Elasmosaur. Right here. What? For some reason, maybe because of all the tech, I was always under the assumption that we were near modern times. Well, we, we might be. It's just that we've stumbled upon a place with obviously extinct things. So I'm not sure how they were preserved here, but they are. And it's all a mystery. Little turtles. It's like a garden here. Huh. Okay, so let's check out this middle portion again. Or maybe there's more over there? Hmm. I can't see it. <laughs> Dunkle Dunklesaurus? Did you say? Dunkle Dunkleosteus. That's kind of dinosaur sounding too. Oh, we've been here earlier. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Is there anything over there, though? Oh, this is taunting me again. <laughs> I ended up missing a lot toward the end. Hmm. 
That's okay. If I find that they give an extra ending or anything like that, then I'll definitely go back to them. Getting distracted by all the fish here. Lots of shark statues again. Okay. It's kind of nuts. We're underground. We're underwater right now, but we're trying to fill this underwater reservoir while we're in the water. Is that the final location? These statues here are of a certain type, and then those statues there were all of a certain type too. Those hammerhead sharks, I think. And then we got the eels here. the same with the people carrying jars, people carrying grain, people dumping water, people getting water. But I think that's new. Maybe we don't worship the sharks. Hmm. Because if we worship the sharks, we wouldn't put the drawings of our own people on the same level as the shark, right? But we're on the same level there. In fact, it kind of looks like they're killing the shark. You see how near the gills? It's kind of separated. Hey, is that separated or is that just the drawing rubbing off? I can't tell. <laughs> but in any case, I'm not so sure if we're worshipping the sharks anymore. What could be here? Hmm. Yeah, look at this. That wall, that- is that a waterfall wall? It's like encasing this entire area. And within this area are the extinct species, right? So, I don't know. It kind of almost feels like the people trap them here. But then again, if they didn't trap them here, they probably wouldn't be alive today. So, good thing, bad thing. Maybe it's a little bit up for debate. Could be down here. Oh. Oh, we're going deeper.
Where are we going? Deep, deep into the castle. It's getting more and more sophisticated. gate. A school of fish. Swimming in circles yet again. This roof? It's kind of dizzying looking at the pattern. But it really reminds me of that other realm that we kept seeing. Whoa. A lot of fish here. Where can we go? Maybe we can open this gate, but how? Oh! This gate might be the door to the other realm. Remember how every time we saw the surface of the other realm? There's always little bubbles coming out of it. Hmm. Gotta figure out a way to activate this. Maybe the chains. That's going. There we go. Yup, that's definitely one of those portals. big one though compared to the other ones we're back here all four pillars have been filled it doesn't want me looking anywhere so my camera angle keeps changing and there's the nautilus or Ammonites, whichever type they are. And what are we gonna do here?
friends? Great white shark. Oh, I saw that shell. It's spinning all over the place. Hang on. I'm all- I, I swim really, really fast now. So I wonder if I can get that shell by myself. Hang on, maybe I gotta approach this from a different angle. Anyway, while I'm trying to get the shell, what just happened? It seems like we- with that essence that I'm guessing we stole from the ocean before, a long time ago. Once we gave it back. Everything's all good now. The shark is alive, although it does look a little bit more spiritual than before, so I'm not sure if it's alive alive, or like it's spiritually alive, or what. Oh, please tell me I can get that. I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Oh, I got it! Wow, that was like a trick shot. Finally! Okay... Yeah, this place looks... It's like we're in heaven or something! Wow... What's going on here? Well, we'll find out together. Let's go, shark! <gasps> oh! Wow! I broke it! One more. Oh! Oh, it's the manta rays again! And the first coral tree! Look at all the fish following me. I don't even have to sing for them anymore. Let's see. Oh, we can't go in here. That's fine. Okay then. Let's go, big guy. I don't have to ride him. I just feel like it. That's all. I'm like cleansing this entire place or something. Second coral tree? With the orcas. And the water level is continually rising too. Now it's encompassing that tree. And even this location here, look at it. It looks like the place where we first saw where the second coral tree was. What is this place? Are we doing actual restoration work now? Everything before was just practice? Oh, come on, let's go! Wanna come with me? Up here? Okay. Wanna... Wanna swim on your own? Third place. Three. And four. There we go! Whale sharks! The place is only getting greener! Which is always a good thing. 
The sea level just keeps rising. Oh, now we're going to the deep sea. Because remember that last one? It was really deep under ocean. Last one. We're destroying them, just like how the shark... Remember how the shark was inserting itself into the triangle to try to stop the process? The process of... I don't know. Imprisoning all the fish? Capturing all the fish? Something along those lines? This one had more than usual. Oh! There's one above water! Squid! And I thought the place before was already brimming with life. Now this is actually brimming with life. All the fish following me, even though I'm not singing. What is this? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Dalek Cor... I can't pronounce your name, but... I'm sure you must be extinct or something. Wow. Too bad there's no meditation statue here. I would love to see what kind of new species we're seeing. Anyway, we go there. Final location. Whoa! No way. Hello? Really follow me. Wow, but just being just getting to be on the underbelly of a blue whale, that's pretty neat. Right. Oh what is this? What are these? Norwal. What? Oh! Did you see that? No way. No way. Hang on. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? Are we in the North Pole? Remember how I thought it looked hot earlier? Well, it doesn't look hot anymore. Are we in the North Pole or what are... Where are we? Oh my god! Wow! It was nice meeting you all! That's really cool, but wow! We actually met some non-fish life forms here, huh? <laughs> oh, I wanna jump! Take me with you! What are you? Oh! You're a blue whale, just like the one earlier, but you look a little bit... different, I feel like. Hmm. This one feels more active. Come on! Do a- do a jump again! I know you want to! I know you want to! Goodness. 
Blue whales are one of the biggest mammals here, aren't they? Oh, where is that? What is this? Oh! Oh, is that where we came from? We can't go there. Hmm. It's like where the first coral was or something. Wow, there's so much to do in here, even though it's just a little ocean. I don't even know where to... where to go. But I guess we gotta go destroy the last triangle to free everybody, huh? Let's go do that then. It's huge. It must be the one that we can enter. Let's get to it then. Oh, a little lower. We gotta destroy all the triangles. Even the gigantic triangle is being reformed. The gigantic metallic triangle is growing with life. That's Abzu! Huh! I can swim. Oh, that's cool. It's like interactive credits. That's really cool! Wow. Of course, I don't think I need to mention- Oh god, look at that. I need that shell. Give me that shell. Don't swim in circles. It's time to get the shell. There we go! Oh, these are really cool credits! Wow, well, suffice it to say, this was a really pretty, really beautiful game. Yeah, that was really neat! An entire story being told without a single word. A story that's really up for interpretation, too. Hmm, right now, I don't feel like I have all the details on what exactly happened, but I do feel like I can say that, overall, it seemed like the ocean. Probably one of our people, maybe a long, long time ago. We did something bad to it. And then, as we were trying to bring it back, we bumped into the shark who was trying to protect the ocean. And he thought that we were not nice. And you know, he would be right to think that normally because someone who looks exactly like us probably tried to ruin the ocean before. So he was trying to kill our droid and everything, but when we saved him, he realized that, hey, maybe this one isn't so bad, and then, and then I saved him, somehow, with the, the little blue orb. The little blue orb 
that was inside me. That seemed to be in the droids too. Hmm. And you know what happens after that? Me and the shark, we became buddy buddies and saved the ocean together. Well, that's the big in a nutshell version, but I do feel like there's a lot of parts that I'm not too sure about. For example, the role of the shells. The shells were depicted pretty prominently in the hieroglyphics, just as often as the shark, but I'm not sure what kind of a role they really played. Hmm. In any case, this was a really relaxing game. Oh, if you have any, I would love to hear what kind of theories you have on what exactly happened here. Especially with the hieroglyphics, people getting the water and then throwing it somewhere else and holding grain and stuff. Would be really interested to hear what you have to say about that. Mm, other than that though, since I didn't finish collecting the shells, I'm not sure if collecting all of them will grant some sort of special additional scenes or not. If they do though, I will come back and show you that, but if they don't, then I'm not gonna bother with it. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I learned a few fish facts here and there too. Since I mentioned I didn't know much about fish or the ocean, I saw that some of you were trying to tell me stuff about fish here and there, which is greatly appreciated by the way. It's like I subscribe to fish facts on my phone or something. It's great. I love it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for that. And uh, I guess with that said, this was Abzu. That was a cool little relaxing water journey, although towards the end. Yeah, what about the extinct fish? What was up with that? Hmm, lots of mysteries here and there. Maybe a second playthrough on my own time would help discover more things. Because I'm sure I still missed a ton of things. But with that said then, this was Abzu. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed yourself in this underwater relaxation ocean restoration journey. Hopefully from now on, the diver, the great white shark, all the fish, all the whales, all the sharks, even the extinct ones, hopefully we'll live happily ever after now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another place in another time then. Bye.